Hello and welcome to an overview of the 2018 Rockwell Collins Capstone Project. These are our Rockwell Collins sponsors as well as the student team who worked on this project. Let's begin with a broad overview of the company. Rockwell Collins has multiple divisions that deal with aircraft. This includes commercial aviation, business aviation, military and government applications, as well as airports. Rockwell Collins is currently developing an information management system. The system is being field tested now. Our application will aid in debugging potentially defective units by allowing non-technical staff to visualize log messages. Our application will be useful for several reasons. The current workflow for debugging a potentially defective unit requires data to be sent in for analysis, which costs both time and personnel resources. Our application will allow for non-technical staff to potentially diagnose problems with a unit. Our application will handle FDPing and untarring data from a remote server, parsing and displaying data, allowing the user to filter with human-readable filters, graphing aggregated filter results, and the application should be configurable via a JSON file. We will now show a demo of our application. As you can see in the lower left, we are currently entering a filter. Once we have written a filter and we wish to save it, we can give the filter a name, edit the filter one last time, and then click OK. Now, if we restart the application entirely, we can see the Save Filter will appear under the Filter drop-down box. If we select a set of log files to parse and then select the filter from the drop-down and click Load Filter, we will apply the Save Filter to the selected log files. The results of the filter then appear below in a tabular format. We can also rename and edit saved filters. Lastly, we can also delete saved filters. We can right click on any filter result and click show surrounding. We are then asked to define a window of time before and after the date time of the clicked log line. The application then generates a filter that displays data that falls within a time range before or after the original log. When we have applied a filter, we can click Add to Graph to add the current filter results to a scatter plot aggregated by occurrences per time window. If we apply a secondary set of data and apply a new filter, we can easily plot multiple filter results sets to the graph. We can also pan and zoom the graph. We can adjust the aggregation window that is used to build the graph. By default, the aggregation interval is 5 minutes. We will set it to 5 seconds. And now we will set it to 1 hour. Finally, if we click on a node on the graph, the application will generate a filter to view the data aggregated within that node. That is all we have for you. Thank you for your interest in our 2018 Rockwell Collins Capstone Project.